Good aim. Case 37295. Death of Sally Ann Huxtable. Huxted. Nettie Smith. Warren Richards. Named Francie again. Howard's brother. 23 years of age. Heron Dell, I don't think so. He stole TVs. He got out within six months. Sally Ann Huxtable turned around and got him out by talking to the cops. And he was set up as a heroin dealer. He's not. He's an undercover agent. You'll probably find that this man was actually a hero. And has been portrayed very simply as a man that kills people. He was a horrible heroin dealer. He's another one of the team that worked. He was killed a long time ago. Unfortunately, this goes back into the 19, early 1980s. But this is true. Howard Lanfranchi is my friend. He's a near, dear friend of mine. He's a very smart man. He worked many hours with me, with my illnesses. He is a man of many talents. He used to be the president of Kawasaki in New South Wales at the time of his brother's death. Um, things change. Why his brother was not a heroin dealer. He was set up by the police. That's why we're very careful when we deal with police, because back in those days they were corrupt. Today's, unfortunately, too many people say too many things. So you may as well put it down on tape so people can understand what the reality of life is. When we're thinking of our lives, we put them on the line all the time. We let people think that we are other people. We let people think that we're not those people. And sometimes we have teeth like this and everything's fantastic. And then sometimes... She seemed to have an encyclopedic knowledge. When we want to, yeah, teeth like that. And with the beard different and the mind different, we can then turn around and understand what life is all about. My name is Trooper Richard Eric Churcher, 4th 19th Prince of Wales, Light Horse Regiment, Park Street, Carlton. It's now moved from Park Street. When I took my oath of office many years ago, in fact, close on 39 years ago at the age of 16, when I joined the CMF, down in Melbourne. Before Vietnam War had finished, I learned in tanks, SLRs, which is a self-loading rifle, an M60, which fires the same caliber, which is 762 ball round, also with 30 cal and 50 cal machine guns, guns, with 106 cannons, or recoilless rifles, recoilless cannons on Anyway, we put them on the back of a Jeep. We caught a 106 cut down Land Rover their light armament and heavy artillery for a, an armoured regiment. Only once did we ever form, and that was up in the little desert, uh, about probably 74, 76, uh, just the year before we did Sunbury Pop Festival, where we had Deep Purple, Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs, Ding Dong, Grisdale, and so many people. It was such an incredible weekend. And our regiment, the 4th 19th, from Park Street, we did the security. I was with Adrian on gate security and also border security for the, the festival. And we had a fence right around um, Sunbury. I remember many times that we sat um, doing uh, point duty at night and um, they used to bring beer over the fence at night. And Adrian and I would sit there in the Land Rover with the spotlight and we'd have a special little thing that we'd make coffee with and that would just sit there for hours. And then all of a sudden we'd hear voices and Adrian and I were both trained in the army for night surveillance and things like that. And so we could pick slight movements and torches and things like that. And we'd just wait until basically the torches got to the fence and they were moving the beer over the fence. Have you got it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful, don't break it. You know, we'll meet you over the other side. We'll be in there in about 10, 15 minutes. Bugger this, buying it from the bloody uh, semi-trailers. We'll get it cheaper and we can make some money. Anyway, they'd get over to the other side and then Adrian and I would both spotlight the, the people and the beer and everything. They'd run that way back to the car and the truck. They'd run that way back into the festival and Adrian and I would walk up and bloody take all the beer and put it in the back of the four-wheel drive. Um, there was an army, it was Adrian's four-wheel drive, but he was out of Ramey Corps of the, the regiment. Anyway, we drive back to the tent. Christ, mate, that weekend we had so much piss. 
You know, uh, but I'll tell you one thing. The one thing you call Deep Purple was supposed to be the loudest band in the world at the time, and they did. They had two semi-trailer loads of bloody speakers and sound equipment that I took down on the stage, and I escorted them down there on my uh, bike that I had at the time. Um, anyway, cutting a long story short, Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs, they just blew me away, man. They just, just literally were so beautiful, so loud, so incredible, so crisp. There's just nobody like them back in those days. I remember one time this bloke came up to the security fence or security shed and he said, um, I can't find my tent. I said, well, you've lost it, mate. And he goes, no, it's been stolen. And he said, this is all I've got, a tent peg. And we said, um, what happened to the rest of your tent? He said, well, I was up there listening. I came back and my old tent's gone. You know, all I've got is a tent peg. And we're sort of going, well, sorry about that, but we can't do anything about that. Probably somebody else has got it. He said, it's got my camera in it, it's got my radio in it. He said, it's got everything in it. And I said, well, that's a music festival. Sunbury was great. Best time you could ever have in your life. Pity we can't have festivals like that again in Australia. If I do get back my evoker gold money and my... All my mining corporation comes back. Boyd Kelly and I are going to put together a festival like that. Probably Sunbury, I'd say, would be ideal. And it's a beautiful amphitheatre, and maybe we'll do it for next summer. It's going to take me a while to sort out the mining situation with Evoca Resources and Evoca Gold Proprietary Limited uh, and Evoca Gold End, but I'm getting very close to it now. And I believe that my future will come together quite nicely. I've done many things during my life. Um, yeah, some for myself, some for the Australian Defence Force. Um, never losing sight of my duty and my honour to the call that I belong to, which is the 4th 19th Prince of Wales Light Horse Regiment. Sorry, uh, RSM Sergeant Hannah, uh, but um, one of these days you'll remember a man who went on a one-man patrol a long time ago, just after Mickey Mouse was killed coming back from the Little Desert. He was my captain. The rank that I hold now is my business. Richard Eric Church and Mickey Mouse, signing off.